Hey friends, in this video I want to go through the close overlap support I'm considering adding. If you're not familiar with this, there is an add-on uh, from Glute Animate um, called Close Overlapper, which uh, basically has this feature and it works. And if you can't wait for us to add this in Notion to Anki, then I recommend checking out the add-on. It's a nice tool and also the wiki, definitely check out the wiki for this um, add-on, very, uh, very well written. The way I'm thinking of implementing this is to introduce a new checkbox option here. And we're gonna call this treat list as overlapping close deletions. This way we can uh, support a couple of um, ways. So the first one is the overlapping one, right? You have a bullet list. Everything here is gonna, every line here, we have four lines. It's gonna be treated as four different close deletions. And then within these lines, you have more close deletions. So there are actually here, there are three close deletions. Even though you just see two blocks like this, this line itself is a closed deletion. And let's take a look at how it looks like here on the right hand side. And this is created via the close overlap add on from Glute Animate, but I'm thinking of making this behavior automatic. So it would convert what you have left hand here into something like this, where this P here would also be a closed deletion and this one. So let's go here to browse and we can take a look at um, that just to have uh, the full example. So if we click preview now, you can see the first P is hidden. So you see that. So if we continue just to show some more, this is the second part right here. Let's uh, say that was good and move on. So you see there, good. Now we see the second line, which is uh, this E here. You can show that. I don't know why this part here is visible. Maybe there's a bug in the close overlapper since I'm using old version but you still get the idea. Now you can see both of them. And you can also click this button, reveal all closes, then you see all. This is part of the template that Glute Animate has created. I'm also thinking of adding something like this, show all. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, and um, yeah, Henrik, if you're watching this, let me know what you think. Cool. So. Um, Let's go through all of them so you can just get a general idea how it look it would look like because this is from the exact page we have on the left hand side uh, via Anki, right? So Notion to Anki doesn't support this yet, but I'm considering adding it. Here is all of them. Here is just the top. There. So that's the first example where we would have closed deletions. Uh, overlapping and then we have this one where the numbered list where you just have a list and you don't specify it's a closed deletion but it will be treated that way so let's take a look at how that looks like here you can see you have your numbered list and then you get the first one again you can also reveal all of them or go back and then um, goes on progresses to the next so I think this is cool I really like this feature um, but it's gonna take we definitely need to make a template in Notion to Anki if we're going to support this. So yeah, that's the numbered list. You can see very straightforward. It shows you the previous line and then the current one. And you can see all. I don't know how much customization we want to add because if you look at the close overlapper from Glute Animate, uh, yeah, I don't have an example here, but in the video, um, he has a way to customize it. Maybe I can show it here. Uh, close overlapper options. So here are the options. I haven't really touched them because, um, yeah, I, I'm not really using this feature. It's new to me. So these things, uh, you might want the close, uh, overlap to behave differently depending on, um, depending on uh, how you are expected to work. So I'm gonna export the deck I have so people can take a look at it and then give me feedback. So I'll probably add that to the page here as well. Cool, um, let's look at, uh, yeah. So you can see I'm getting errors. This is because I'm running an old version, which is just customized based on our Reddit post. Don't consider this a good overview of the close overlapper add-on. I'm running an old version just so you know, again, with the new Anki version. <laughs> so it's a bad combo, but it, 
it still works to visualize the examples. So that's the number list. Let's take a look at the bulleted list. We see here, you can see uh, this is the last example here. Again, it starts at the top, progresses. So I don't know if this makes sense. Uh, let me know and then we'll, um, we might, we could, could add customizations, but we need to, I think we definitely need to discuss this more before adding, uh, adding support for this. But I hope this uh, illustrated um, the example. So please let me, let me know in the comments. And if you're not comfortable with the comments, you can DM me on Discord. I will add the link to the Discord. Cool. So I hope uh, we can figure out something uh, with this and people like it. And then we will add support for it. But um, let's see what happens. Thanks for watching and uh, see you soon. Bye.